Yeah. Just just a quick one, actually. Look, I'm going to speak to KD properly about this this situation with... Um, that's not really a situation, but your situation regarding Robert Garcia. But as far as you're concerned, the team's all good. Angel Fernandez, Robert Garcia, everyone else, you're all good to go. Just a word from you on that. Main thing is a happy fighter is a dangerous fight. I'm in a good place. I feel good. I'm happy. I'm about to start training now. So... Yeah, and Garcia is actually here now, so we're just working on a few things. It's not about changing style as such, um, in my opinion. Um, it's like style could be, Garcia's style might be crouched down to five foot bob and weave, but I'm a six foot six heavyweight. So it's not about changing style, it's about his experience and what he knows at championship level, etc. And adding that to the camp is, is priceless, in my opinion, but David will expand on that a bit more. And yeah, I'm in a good place. I'm about to crack on training now. Ooh, what's good, family? Shout out to the boss man, Louis Perkins, for keeping it a trilly in your man, the YB coin. No doubt about it, one million percent. So we just heard there from the world's number one, sorry, number two of all time greatest bodybuilders, Mr. Anthony Johnston, Flex Johnston, 100%, reacting to his new assignment of... Well, I was about to say head coach, but he's not. He's a side man. Anthony Johnston has brought in Rob Garcia on a side man basis. Now, when you watch the full video on IFL TV, you'll hear the man say, the man says, listen, it's Angel Fernandez's camp and Robert Garcia is working within that. Oops. Yeah, this to me is a madness. A madness. I'm not sure what to say. Listen. I don't even, in my last video, you know, I don't even rate Robert Garcia that much. I don't. Yeah? What's he really done? Never mind at heavyweight. In any, in any way, what's he really done? Apart from get his brother molly whopped by some next bum in his last fight. Oops. Yeah? <laughs> One of them ones. So, AJ's brought in a trainer who doesn't have no form right now. I mean, for me, yeah? Thinking about it now, someone a few months ago said, Why be? AJ needs to bring in some big American trainers. I didn't really, I wasn't too sure, but now I think about it. Guess what? Errol Spence's trainer, who has Jamel Charlo and Errol Spence. On form trainer. Yeah, both of his fighters know how to get it done in rematches. Well, not so much Errol Spence, but listen, Errol Spence knows how to get it done full stop. And Jamel Charlo knows how to get it done in rematches. Oops, yeah? Simple as that. He on form. Bring on someone in form and who about the smoke. Yeah, Errol Spence go for stoppage. Charlo go for stoppage. Garcia, his brother gets molly whopped. Oops. Yeah, but trust me, I've got more videos coming on that topic soon. Also, I think who's pretty decent. Bomac, Terence Crawford's trainer, again, in form. And what do we know about what do we know about Bomac? Bomac turned Amir Khan from a dude who gets chinned. Let's be real now. Cal Brook couldn't chin Amir Khan, and even Kell Brook said afterwards, I was actually surprised at how good his defence had got. That was all Bomak, and I've said it before, even before the Amir Khan fight, I said, Terence Crawford has a very high level, he knows how to basically tuck his elbows in and put his chin down. He knows his, his defence is A1, he's not leaky, like Mr Johnston. Yeah? So, there's another great example. The man, listen, Amir Khan has no chin, and Mr No Chin, yes he got put down, but none of them were was stunners, were they? Well, sorry, they were all kind of uh, Khan being overwhelmed. Khan never got caught, and you never saw him... Well, listen, we know Khan loves to go spark out. So, Amir Khan never got dilly and whited, did he? This iced cold, no. And that was because of his defence. So, guess what? What do we know about Johnson's defence? His defence leaky. So, Bomak, like I said, a trainer on form. Also, I rated Bomak because, guess what? He told Els, Torrance, sorry, he told Terence Crawford in the corner what time it was. You're losing against Sean Porter. Pull your finger out of your ass. No licking ass. But anyway, I'm going to say the rest of what my, my thoughts about that for another video. This video is just Johnston reacting and giving us a, a look into him, the Robert Garcia situation. Now, like I said, it's mad because I don't even rate Robert Garcia as I've explained. But even as little as I rate him, is better than Fernando Alonso, who we know... Is useless. Yeah. Fernando has had two, three, four years of Johnston. And he's only got worse. He's only got softer. He's only got less defense. He's only got more useless. He's only lost more ever since Fernando came along. Don't forget people. Fernando. That Fernando camp here. Fernando first came in. And that was when AJ went 
Life and death with Mr. Blobby in the rematch. AJ brought in Fernando. That was AJ's best. That was AJ's secret card. Yeah, AJ pulled the Fernando Alonso card in the Ruiz rematch. And that's what we got. Fernando came in and AJ literally turned into a 2014, a bad version of 2014 Tyson Fury running around. Yeah, that's what happened. And that's his influence. And the worst thing is, people, before, yeah... I mean, you even just heard AJ there. It's embarrassing listening to this. Before, back in 2014 or back in 2015, AJ would say, I'm like a big Mike Tyson. Now he's saying, oh, I'm not like Mike Tyson. I'm big and long and I have to use my long attributes and run around some more. He just said that in there. I couldn't believe it. We know, anyone who has a brain knows, listen, AJ, for this fight, you might as well fight like you're five foot tall. Because guess what? You tried all that long attributes bullshit in the last fight. How'd that work out? Yes, you was taller than music in the last fight. But how did it work out? It didn't. And Chizora, who isn't taller than music or is only as tall, guess what? Chizora came in, that short stubby style, and he did better than you. That tells you all you need to know. And, you, and the best part of your career was not spent all stiff and upright and dancing around like a ballerina. The best part of your career was spent walking forward and letting your hands go it's as simple as that now of course you can bring in all these weird goofy trainers like fernando like the other schmuck you've got in there what's the other guy's name um there's another schmuck who who, who tries to be too deep what's the guy's name ah uh, i can't remember the name but either way trust me aj's got a bunch of weird trainers they're all into this new school rubbish oh i've got this special system this system a special training system yeah, yeah, the special training system where we can... Your man keeps getting beat about special training system. Yeah? But, again, people who are low IQ, like AJ, they... There's a reason, for example, people get sold snake oil. There's a reason snake oil salesmen and Ponzi schemes are successful. People hear things, people want to be told. People like having sweet nothings whispered into their ear. People want to be told, oh no AJ, I've got a smarter way, yeah, you don't need to get hit, oh no AJ, I've got, a, I've got a special new way, if you come with me, I've got a special new way where you don't have to take any risk, you don't ever have to get hit again, and you're going to win every fight, that's what, the, basically, that's what Fernando told AJ, bottom line, and that's what the other guy, completely forgot his name now, but he, basically, one of AJ's trainer also has got a video on YouTube, and he's running with no shoes on, explaining why, oh, if you run with no shoes on, it connects you with the earth, this, honestly, these are the guys training AJ, and again, it shows you AJ's about 30 IQ, because, trust me, if you've got a trainer who's telling you, or if you've got a trainer who, who explains why running with no shoes on connects you to the earth, you know you've got something wrong here, because guess what, like I said, back in the night, we, we know categorically, this sport isn't rocket science. We know, and I've explained and we've seen n numerous times, especially recently, having heart and digging deep, never mind running with no shoes on, yeah? Having heart and digging deep can be the great equaliser today. Because other people don't have it. If you can flick that switch and dig deep, you're going to be halfway there. Yeah? Regardless of skills, regardless of attributes. Now, AJ has the skills and attributes. He don't have no balls and no heart. It's as simple as that. And the last thing AJ needs to be told is, Oh, AJ, you're six foot six and you're long. And We've tried that. Why are we going down the same road again? And I believe the reason Team AJ have brought in, for, um, brought in Robert Garcia is because is your man, F Fernando, AJ in his interview goes on to explain, Oh... Basically, Fernando signed off on it. Oh, Fernando and Fernando and Robert Garcia got on really well. What do you mean, Fernando and Robert Garcia got on really well? What did AJ get on with? And even that, to be honest with you, I if I was in the camp, if I was managing AJ, I wouldn't care what he got on with. I'd care about what's going to work. And the point is, I believe Fernando Alonso has chosen a trainer who he feels least intimidated by. It's human nature. Human nature is, Fernando wants control over the big cash cow. He's not going to bring in someone who he thinks is going to make him obsolete. Now, he knows, wait a minute, Robert Garcia has a full-time gym in the USA. He has full-time trainers in the USA, which means he isn't likely to come over here for a quick eight-week camp and then suddenly take my spot. 
he knows he's going to go straight back to the USA. That's the kind of person that Fernando wants. Fernando doesn't want someone who, who's going to be available full time. About this is who Fernando got on with. Who gives a f what Fernando got on with? Fernando is useless. Who I mean, who made him? Who made him the great authority on on boxing trainers? And like I said, I'm not being funny. And then what worries me is we're going to find out. Because apparently people have told me Robert Garcia has been working with AJ apparently for the last eight weeks already. So it begs the question, if AJ has been working with Robert Garcia for eight weeks already, why is AJ's mindset, why is he still saying these things like, oh I'm big and tall and long and yeah yeah I'm, I'm not changing my style and what? Because I tell you this for free. If I was in there yeah, on the first day everything would be super clear. I'll be telling AJ, listen AJ. Accept in this fight, you're going to get molly whopped. Accept it. Because if you can't deal with it, you must just retire now. I'll tell him now straight. Assuming this fight, you're going to get off the canvas. Let's just, let's just, you know what? Let's start there. We'll start assuming we're going to have to go life and death. Let's start there. Because what we ain't going to do is go in front of X amount of fans and roll over and have our blue fluffy belly tickled again. That's what we're not going to do. Or tell you lie, if you are going to do that, I'll tell you what to do. Go and hire Fernando and he can whisper in your ear some more. About how easy it can be. Oh, I've got this special thing. Yeah, yeah, AJ, you're six foot six, and we can dance around and outbox music this time because I've got a new. Oh, that's his name. Um, Joby Clayton. That's the guy's name. Type it on in YouTube here. Type it in. Joby Clayton, no shoes. Yeah, that's AJ's trainer. Facts. Mr. No Shoes. Bunch of goofies. And like I said, it's not really AJ's fault. People who are 60 IQ, yeah, they, they don't know what they don't know. Do you understand? They don't. AJ doesn't know that he's been led into a Ponzi scheme. He doesn't know he's been sold snake oil. All he hears is all these great, oh, wow, what? I can go into a fight and make millions of dollars and win every fight without taking no risk and never getting hit. Wow, I love some of that. Yeah, 100%. That's all it is. And back in the day, for the most part, there used to be some Don above it all. That's why back in the day, yeah, Don King would... Don King wouldn't let his fighters just do what they wanted to do. He'd be managing who's training them. Shame as Shelly Finkel. Shelly Finkel, Don King, all their man, they would put the trainers into the camp. Because they don't... Fighters are boneheads for the most part. It's only since Eddie Hearn came along and said, Oh no, apples and pears. Yes, I love to work for the fighters. Yes, give all the f power to the fighters who don't have a clue what they're doing. That's what he says. And ever since, really... I mean, look at, look at a lot of it. Let's not forget people, Canelo Alvarez, he is where he is now because people let all these fighters make their own decisions. Yeah? And look at, look at it now. Canelo had no business really going up to 175. He should have stayed at 168 and dominated. But anyway, I've, I've digressed here. Let's get back to the, the topic here. You've heard there from Mr. Johnston. Fernando Alonso brings Robert Garcia in because he's the guy who he feels least intimidated by. Now, having said that, AJ's been working with Robert for eight weeks and he's still saying the same things he was saying before. I'm telling you now, eight weeks, it, I mean, eight weeks of influence, it should be clear. And, and if this is what clear is, oh, I'm tall and I'm long, how's that different? And then what gets me is, it was only three months ago AJ was saying, oh, it's time to go back to the streets. I'm Big Meech. It's time to go road style. And now he's saying the opposite again. So what's Robert Garcia doing in the camp? And this is the problem you see. I believe Robert Garcia is a yes man. That's what I believe. I'm sorry. Because I've seen it. I believe Robert Garcia sees AJ as a big money sign. As most people do. And all he's come in to do is come in and sit there. And just take the coin. And I believe that's the kind of performance you're going to see. You're going to see Robert Garcia come in. Robert Garcia is not trying to rock the boat. I believe Angel's probably told Robert, Robert, you're not here to make no real decisions. You're here to sit there and just appease AJ. Yeah? Because AJ wanted someone with, with more expertise. Now, what gets me is, AJ, AJ trialed James Ali Bashir, who was, who has who was training Klitschko for years, working directly under Emmanuel Stewart, and had direct... Uh, workings with Usyk as well. What happened to that? How, I'm sorry, honestly, I'm sorry. How could AJ choose James? I mean, how could AJ choose Robert Garcia over James Ali Bashir? 
I don't understand that whatsoever. And that's why I tell you, the reason why is, James Ali Bashir, yeah, doesn't have any big fighters. He doesn't have a massive, ex from what I understand, he doesn't have a massive expensive set up base somewhere like Robert Garcia does. Yeah, Angel Fernandez doesn't want someone like James Ali Bashir, who only has, I think, maybe one fighter, one lower level fighter, who can potentially come in and set up, do you know, he, he doesn't want someone full time. He wants someone who can fly in for eight weeks and then F off, because he wants to be in control. And it's a shame, people around AJ, they're all yes men. Eddie Hearn and whoever else is so-called managing AJ, none of them have no, no IQ, none of them have no foresight. They've all just sitting there and getting played by Fernando, bottom line. Fernando is not qualified for this job, and it's not about even being qualified. If Fernando had showed us something, if Fernando, for example, was the one in the corner against Usyk saying, AJ, let your hands go, at least we could start there saying, well, you know what, people, yes, but at least Fernando was the one saying the right thing. Fernando was the one saying, yes, AJ, great AJ. Oh, that's the best AJ. I love, it. I love it when you dance. Do some more dancing. Get your head boxed off some more. Do some more of that. That's what he was doing. And you've given that man control. But this is what I tell you. I believe AJ is compromised. Simple as that. I believe AJ is actually in some sort of relationship with... I'm not I'm, I'm speculating now, but I, I believe AJ and Fernando were in some sort of relationship. I don't believe this is strictly business. I believe they've got some extracurricular thing going on, and then it's kind of one of them ones. I think it's more of a social thing. Oh, well, you know, for example, we know in the UFC, yeah, you've got setups like um, the women's champion, Rose Namajunas. Her her boyfriend trains her, yeah? So, I've, in my opinion, it's one of them ones. I believe it's one of them weird ones, and AJ's, oh, well, we're together, and he might as well train me. I might as well put some money in his pocket. That's what I think it is, 100%. Because, like I said, from a strategic point of view... Why ain't Eddie Hearn saying something? Eddie, this is your charge. This is it now. And you've got Robert Garcia and Fernando. How? Why haven't you stepped in and said, wait there a minute. Why don't we use the man who's trained music before? Why don't we use the man who trained under, um, uh, trained alongside Emmanuel Stewart? Why don't we use the man who trained with actual heavyweights before, the Klitschko's and whoever else? That, that to me is a home sweep. And then we find out that, oh well... You see, it was more about what, it was more about what Fernando felt felt happy with. What? For what Fernando? Felt, I don't give up what Fernando felt happy with. Yeah, it's about what's going what's most likely to get the job done. Proper weird, but again, like I said, I believe this is one of them ones where it's almost like happy wife, happy life. I believe Fernando said to AJ, or I've been told, sorry, Fernando said to AJ, oh well, I don't want to work with. I don't want to work with um, Emmanuel Stewart. I want Robert Garcia. At which point AJ said, happy wife, happy life. Let me just, you know, in, no problem, baby. We'll, we'll do what you want to do. That's what I think this is. I think Fernando and AJ are in some weird thing together. And essentially, AJ and Fernando are just trying to milk for their retirement now. Yeah, they've got no intention of winning. AJ's just trying to appease his, his other half and keep them happy. If it makes you happy, it makes me happy, one of them ones. Because strategically, it don't make no sense whatsoever. I'm yet to see anyone who tells me, no, I be, Fernando is definitely the right head trainer, and Robert Garcia is definitely the right player. Don't get me wrong, all the AJ Man fans are out in full force. Oh, why be, this is great, why be. Oh, Robert Garcia, why be. Yeah, no heavyweights trained. No half decent fighters trained for the last five years. Facts. People keep telling me about people keep telling me about Marcus Maidana from ten year ago. Who really if I'm honest, if you actually watch the first Robert if you actually watch the first fight, that was all Alex Ariza. Alex Ariza was the one who prepared Maidana for the first fight. And then Robert Garcia kicked Alex Ariza out and then Maidana did nothing in the second fight. Oops. So that's all you need to know there. That's actually the truth of what happened. Nothing to do with Robert Garcia, from what the evidence shows. It was all Alex Ariza. But anyway, we are where we are. AJ saying the same old things he be saying. Um, and the worst thing is, it's a, it's a tragedy because he's always training, but he reminds me of that big dopey dude that's running into a wall. Oh, I'm gone. He's always training, but training for what? Training. To get your head boxed off. That's the answer to that. AJ needs to drop. If I was in charge. I'd drop Fernando. I'd drop Garcia. And I'd bring in. Other than myself obviously. I'd bring in. What's his name? Um, 
Um, I, to be honest, to, in truth, in tr truth, honesty, I would drop all them two bums I've mentioned, Garcia and the other bum Fernando, and all the other bums. Because you best believe it's not just Fernando and him. Also, jo Jobber Clayton's there, and there's a whole bunch of other bums there as well. I would drop them all, and I'd bring in one of the following. The YBs are must anyway, but I'm I'm auxiliary with support. Is it auxiliary? I'm auxiliary support, yeah, but in terms of a head trainer, YB as the auxiliary man, 100%. Head trainer would be Errol Spence's trainer, Terence Crawford's trainer, or the other cat. I just mentioned his name. Um, James Ali Bashir. That would be it. And not, none of this five-man team rubbish. You tried the five-man team. You tried trying to make... Oh, but uh, but YB, what about if we put five bums together? Maybe five bums will make a great trainer. Wrong. Yeah, simple as that. And in fact, another trainer... Jim, Jim, um, Errol Spence's trainer. Bud Crawford's trainer. James Ali Bashir. Or, go and beg Tyson Fury's trainer. Because Tyson Fury's trainer has been training that guy called Ben... I've got his um, Ben Whit Whitaker, so he's clearly available to some extent. AJ should have humbled himself, got rid of all the dead wood, and said, "Listen, you've proven you can turn someone. You can turn pretty much, yeah, you can work miracles. Seeing what Sugar Hill's done with Tyson Fury, that's what you call miracle working. I don't care what no one says. No one saw that coming. No one saw Tyson Fury, who was very limited in power punching, going from that to one punch icing dudes." Or either banging dudes up. No one saw that at all. Yeah, no one saw Tyson Fury banging at Wilder twice. No one saw that coming. Everyone thought if he beat Wilder, it'd be life and death and it'd be on points. So, that, has, that credit has to go to Sugar Hill. Those were the options. And if if you want to talk heavyweights, okay, James Ali Bashir and Sugar Stewart. Simple as that, Sugar Hill. Where are we instead? We've gone from them names, which make all the evidence is there, pretty solid evidence. We've gone from that to Robert Garcia. Wow. The midget trainer. Yeah, you've gone from the midget, the weak midget trainer. He ain't even good at training midgets anymore. And then you've got the other bum, Fernando Alonso, who's done nothing. Wow. He's done nothing. He's actually, the worst thing is, he's done more than do nothing. He's gone backwards. We know categorically he made AJ worse. He made AJ run around for Mr. Blobby. Facts. Fernando was the key influence on making AJ run around in circles from Mr. Blobby. Yeah, simple as that. Because even even though I don't like Rob McCrappen, yeah, he wasn't as bad as f the, the influence. Because Rob McCrappen's been training AJ for years. Yes, Rob McCrappen's got no enthusiasm or charisma, but still, McCrappen wasn't a, a dude who would get you dancing around in circles. That wasn't his shtick. His stick was just that boring, standard, kind of stiff European style. His 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 stick wasn't. Oh, let's run around in circles and be, become a dancer. That was all Fernando. That is, yeah. So we are, anyway. We are where we are. Truth be known, the best thing for me now. I just want. I want someone to ice AJ. That's it now. I'm sick. I'm sick of the guy. I'm sick of all the all the moves he make. All the moves he makes are low IQ. Yeah, they're low IQ. He thinks he's, the worst thing is he thinks he's really smart as well. He thinks he's really smart. He thinks he's really deep. Just, oh, I've made some money. That's the fifth problem you see today. People make some money and it, and they, it makes them think they're smart. Oh, I'm so smart because I made some money. You, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know. The best thing for him, for me, would be for him to be iced, cold. Yeah, I'd love to see him iced. Please, someone ice him. Please use it, come in here and ice the dude. That would be the best thing right now. That's what he needs, to be iced, cold. Proper cold as well, one of them ones. One of them toe curling ones. That's what he deserves right now. Because he's, again, there's a saying, don't do the same thing twice. He's doing the same thing twice. Oh, we're going to be nice. We're going to stand up tall and box long. What the fuck? What do you mean you're going to stand up tall and box long? Get your elbows in, put your chin down, and walk forward. It's, that's as simple as that. There's no, there's no stand up tall and stay long about it. I don't understand it. And all the, all the weird AJ Man fans who have been telling me, no, no, YB, oh, Robert Garcia's got this special style. Where was that special style against Errol Spence? Where was it? If, if, if your man, Robert Garcia, is so good at training aggressive fighters, where was Mikey Garcia's aggressive style against Errol Spence? Where was his aggressive style against the last guy who beat him? Who was unknown. So stop coming with bullshit. 
Robert Garcia, any any man trainer, no good in my opinion. Not just like the rest of them bums, yeah, bunch of bum trainers. And like, he, all he's gonna be there for is to yes man, yes Fernando, yes AJ, yeah, let's collect some more checks. That's all he's there for. So it is what it is.